Comic Con was one of the biggest events seen in 2015, featuring massive board gaming sessions, stunning art, and mind-blowing cosplay. But how did this massive celebration of geek culture come to be? We decided to meet up with the Lanka Comic Con trustees and find out. This is the story of Lanka Comic Con. So back in the day, uh, a leading bookshop in Colombo uh, would send a group of us notifications every month uh, that the latest geek related material was coming in. And uh, I was one of the people on the list and I knew that there were others who shared this interest but I had no means to get in touch with them until one day the mail came with accidentally the rest of the people on carbon copy as opposed to blank carbon copy and I finally found out who these people were so I took the liberty of writing to them and I said look um, we tend to invest a considerable amount of money every month on these comics so why don't we get together and see what we can do don't you think we should be doing something bigger than this if the interest is actually there so we met um, it was 2011 and we met here at my home my office uh, and we had a discussion and we realized okay you know what there's plenty of demand there's plenty of passion there's more than enough interest for this genre to develop and become something big in Sri Lanka let's do something about it let's actually have an event that celebrates this genre so I can't remember the exact day but I remember it was night time I went home and I opened up a Facebook page and I called it the Geek Club of Sri Lanka uh, and that was initially open to find out numbers because we had this plan we had a long-term plan of starting Comic-Con here in Sri Lanka um, so I opened it I sent invites out to my friends I told them to send invites out to their friends and I think within two or three months we had something like a thousand people on the page yeah, we had lots of people on Facebook who had joined the Geek Club, but that doesn't mean they're going to show. Now, I've been trying for about five years to get people interested in modern board games and modern tabletop gaming, and I didn't get anywhere. No one cared. And then when suddenly the Geek Club popped up and they were talking about the meeting, I thought, okay. So there were a lot of questions. A lot of people were asking things about Marvel comics, about DC comics, about cartoons, and then the main question that kept cropping up was, do you guys meet up? You know, is, since this is a club, is there is there physical presence anywhere in Colombo? Uh, do you all meet up once a month? Uh, do you all come out to Candy? Do you all come out to Gaul? And this kept coming up over and over again. So I jumped on this as hard as I could. I mean, okay, fine, let's, I brought all these games down. Uh, we got people playing them. Um, and my other interest in this was, well, you could say it came down to numbers. We've got something like 5,000 odd members, and we've had to split the club up as well. Uh, one section, one, one part of the club focuses on science, hard science. Uh, there's another offshoot of the club that focuses on video games and movies, especially spoiler content uh, discussions. Uh, and now we have an offshoot, which is a, which is a cosplay group. And uh, the main geek club has some 5,000 odd members and the uh, other pages have 1,000 odd members in each page. Me and my friends, the trustees, we decided, hey, you know what, because there's so much interest, maybe we should look at meeting up once a month. Maybe we should have some kind of like a, a geek meet, so to speak. This is when I started to get particularly interested in the geek club and in doing events that would work towards Lanka Comic Con. We've had our first geek meet was, was 12 people and that was at the Barefoot um, Gallery Cafe and since then I think now we've grown to like what a regular group of about 40 that meet every month. We, we left Barefoot and then we had a long stint at the Red Fort um, which belonged to a friend of ours 
and after that we were hosted at Delish, which was like a fantastic place for, for board gamers. It's Dungeons and Dragons, it's Warhammer, it's Malifaux, it's Settlers of Catan, it's Descent. And, and, and the tradition in America is that you have big, big meets, you have small meets, you just get together, you have small conventions, and you do exactly the same thing there. You do exactly the same thing there that you will at a big convention. Right now we are at the Black Cat Cafe on Vijayarama. We have our monthly meetups. And in between we also had um, two, three week meets at the Sri Lanka Cyber Games where we were trying to introduce board gaming and RPGs, role playing games to sort of uh, a crowd of more traditionally PC gamers. You have set events, you make people play games, and they run some certain specific times, and you go to the next one. People walk in, they have a choice of events. So we did this three times. And the third time we did it, in 2015, I sat down with one of the organizers and said, look, can we call this Comic-Con? Because I was thinking, look, now is the time, now we can test this, this is a good time as any to push this forward. We discussed as a group and said, okay, let's, let's, let's pitch it. And they were okay, I was like, yeah, sure. And so, we had the first Lanka Comic Con. It was just a really big geek meet. Yeah, it, it, it was It was kind of nerve-wracking because calling it a Comic Con is great and everything, but once we had announced the Comic Con, we kind of were slightly panicked because we're like, a Comic Con is a big concept and what if only a hundred people come? So it was very much like, keep our fingers crossed and let's try to be on top of this and not fall on our faces and turn out as good a Comic Con as possible. And luckily, thousands did come, and they loved it. So that is how Lanka Comic Con pretty much came into existence as a brand in Sri Lanka. It started out in 2011 with an idea, and thanks to very passionate individuals with whom I am proud to say I share a position on the, the board of trustees today, it has now uh, evolved into what you could call uh, a much sought after prestigious entity in Sri Lanka. I think it's going in a fantastic direction and I think people behind the helm really know how to sail the ship, they, they plan it all forward and I think 2016 Comic Con is going to be bigger and better than what we had the very first time, 2015, and the years to come are going to be even more awe-inspiring. So all I'd say is 2016, Comic Con, look forward to it. It's coming to you very soon.